Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Gravity Forms and ClickUp. So the use case here is, whenever a new response is created in Gravity Forms, automatically create task in ClickUp. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Gravity Forms is a WordPress plugin that allows you to create forms, whereas ClickUp is a cloud collaboration project management tool. The issue here is that Gravity Forms and ClickUp don't have any integration between them and that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Gravity Forms to ClickUp. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I'm going to hover over this product section and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to sign in. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. You just have to clone the template of the workflow. The link for the same is available in the description below the video. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get access to this workflow in your account. Okay, so now I am going to scroll down and here at Connect, I am going to click on Access Now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can see so many workflows that have already been created over here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow and I'm going to click on this button over here. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as Gravity Forms to ClickUp. Okay. Okay, so now here in Choose App, first I am going to choose Gravity Form Response, that is Gravity Forms. Okay, now in Trigger Event, according to our workflow, whenever there is a new response in Gravity Forms, we want to create a task in ClickUp. That is why New Response is our Trigger Event over here. Okay, so now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called Trigger Event? Let me tell you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever there is a new response in Gravity Forms, we want to create a task in ClickUp. That is why new response in Gravity Forms will be our trigger event, whereas creating a task in ClickUp will be our action event. So now when you come down here, you can see a term called webhook URL and there's a URL displayed over here. Now you might again have a doubt in your mind that what is this webhook URL and how is it going to help us? Let me tell you that webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook URL helps you to connect Pabli Connect and the trigger software application. So after choosing the app and after choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Gravity Forms in our case. So now you can read the instructions written here carefully and you can just follow them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this webhook URL from here and now we'll follow the instructions. To configure webhooks for a form, you'll need to create a feed like you would with most other add-ons. To do so, go to your form settings and click on the webhooks tab. Okay, so I'll go to my gravity forms. So here I have created many forms over here and I've created a form called ClickUp task. So now in settings, you can see form settings. I'm going to click on it. Okay, so now here in form settings here, you can see webhooks. So I'm going to click on it. Okay. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new webhook. Okay, so webhooks feed one, there'll be same name in request URL. I'll just paste the webhook URL that we got from Pabli Connect. Okay, so after that, I'll just go down. Now I'm going to click on update settings. Okay, so we have successfully added this webhook now. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go back to Pabli Connect. Okay, so now I'm going to click on capture webhook response. That means now we are going to create a new response in the gravity forms and then we'll see if Pabli Connect captures the data or not. 
So I'll go back to my gravity forms and we are going to preview our form. Okay, so now here I am going to fill this form. So the task is going to be first step integration description. This task is about first step integration where we are going to integrate gravity forms and click up. Okay, so I have written the description over here. Tag gravity forms to click up. Start date. Let me choose it as 12th. Due date. I'll choose it as 15th submit. Okay, so we have successfully filled this response over here in the form. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. Okay, so you can see Pabli Connect has captured the data. ID is here, form ID, date created, date updated. Okay, if we come down, let us see first step integration. Okay, fine. We have got all the information. You can see the start date and the end date is over here. So now I'm just going to click on save. Okay. So now we have successfully finished our first step integration that is integration of gravity forms and Pabli Connect. Now we are going to begin with our second step integration where we'll integrate ClickUp and Pabli Connect. But before going to ClickUp, you can see this start date and due date over here. So the issue is that ClickUp only accepts the start date and the due date in the format of timestamp and that too in milliseconds. So what we are going to do first is we are going to convert our start date and due date in timestamp and in millisecond format. So first I am going to convert our start date. So we are going to use two action steps over here. First we are going to use date or time formatter because we are going to convert this date into timestamp format. And then we are going to use number formatter because we have to convert the converted date that is in timestamp format into milliseconds. So now I'm going to add an action step over here. Okay, so here I am going to use date or time formatter. Action event is going to be format date only. Connect with date or time formatter. Okay, so here date required. So our start date is this one. That is 12 January 2021. So I'm just going to map it. And I'm going to convert it into timestamp. That is this one. Save and send test request. Okay, so we have got our date in timestamp format, but we have to convert it again into milliseconds. So I'm going to use number formatter. Okay, so now here I am going to choose number formatter. Okay, now in action event, I am going to do perform math operation, connect with number formatter. Okay, so numbers required here, I am going to put our timestamp formatted date. That is this one. And I'm going to multiply it with 1000 because then our date will be converted into milliseconds. Now multiply, save and send test request. Okay, so we have got our date in timestamp format and in milliseconds. I'm just going to save it. Okay, so this is our start date that is converted into timestamp and in milliseconds. Now we have to repeat the same procedure for due date. So I'm going to add an action step date or time formatter action event format date only connect here i am going to map the due date that is this one here i'll choose the timestamp format okay we have got our due date in timestamp format now we have to convert it into milliseconds so i'm going to use number formatter Okay, so here I'll map the due date that we got, this one, comma, 1000. And here I'll choose multiply again. 
Okay, so we have got our due date in timestamp format and in milliseconds also. So we have successfully converted both our start date and due date. Now we are going to begin with our second step integration where we'll integrate ClickUp and Pabbly Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button. So now I'm going to choose ClickUp over here. And now in action event, according to our workflow, whenever a new response is created through Gravity Forms, we want to create a task in ClickUp. Now, if you can see, we have various other options available. You can select whichever action event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the action event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. Now I am going to click on connect with ClickUp. Okay, credentials, you can see create new or select existing credentials. So here you have two options. Either you can just create new credential and for that you have to get your API token or you can just click on any existing credential. Now here I'm just going to click on new credentials and I'll show you how to get your API token. So in order to get your API token, I am going to go to my ClickUp account. Okay, now here in my left hand side corner, you can see, I'll click here. Now here there's an option called apps. Okay, so now when you click on apps, you can see we have our API token over here. I'm just going to copy this API token. If you want, you can also regenerate an API token and you can just copy and paste it here in Pabbly Connect. Okay, so now this API token is going to help us to build a connection between ClickUp and Pabbly Connect. Okay, so now when you come down here, you can see workspace required. So here you can see I only have one option that is Ashi's workspace because my ClickUp account has only workspace that is Ashi's workspace. So I let it be Ashi's workspace itself. Now talking about space. Now for space, you can see I have four options, Pabli, DLFG, Junk and Space. Now you can select any option you want according to your choice. If I go back to my ClickUp, you can see Pabli, DLFG, Junk and Space. So these are the spaces that I've already created. So I let it be the same. Under Pabli space, you can see we have folder name. So I only have one folder over here that is integrations and under integrations folder, I have various lists. So I let it be integrations coming to list name. So here you can see I have so many lists already created. We can select any list we want according to our choice. So what I'm going to do is here, I am just going to edit the name of this list. And I'm going to name it as gravity forms response okay so now this is going to be the list where i want my task to be created so i'm just going to refresh this once now here what i'm going to do is let us search for our this is the list that we created okay so now in task name we have our task name over here that is first step integration i'll map it description we have the description also i'll just map the same this one. Now assignee email, we have so many options. You can select whichever you want. Now coming to tags, we also have put the tag. Let us search for it. Gravity forms to click up. Now the thing with tags is that you have to enter it with double quotes. So I'm going to put double quotes over here. Okay, so we have put the tag over here. Priority, I let it be urgent. Due date and start date. So here we have to map the due date and start date that we have already created here. So first I am going to put the due date that we got in the last API, that is this one. Start date, start date is the previous one that is here, API three, okay. Status, I let it be to do, save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have got our API response. That means we have successfully finished the integration of Gravity Forms and ClickUp. So now what I'm going to do is we'll go to our ClickUp and we're going to check if a new task is created there or not. I'll go to our gravity form response. Okay, so you can see we have a task created over here. I'll just open it. Okay, so you can see first step integration is over here. You can see the tag is here, gravity forms to click up. Okay, so you can see first step integration. Here is the description. You can see the tag gravity forms to click up. The priority is set to urgent. You can see the start date and the due date. So we have successfully finished our integration and that integration is working fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just close this. So now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'm going to fill the form again. Okay, so now task, I am going to write here second step 
integration description this is the second step integration for gravity forms to click up okay tag gravity form response start date i'll choose it as 8th of january due date is 9th submit okay so we have successfully filled this form over here and we have got a response now let's go back again to click up and check if a new task is created there or not okay so you can see we have one more task created over here i'll just open it okay so you can see second step integration is over here you can see the description is here the tag is over here the start date and the due date is also here so we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine now what i'm going to do is i'll go back to pabli connect and i'm going to explain you what has happened in our example i am just going to minimize all these workflow action steps okay so in our workflow what we have done is first we created new response through gravity forms and then we used the date or time formatter and the number formatter because we had to convert our start date and due date into time stamp and in milliseconds format we did this process twice because first we converted the start date then we converted the due date and after that we created a task in clickup so now every time a new response is received through gravity forms automatically a task will be created in clickup so we have successfully finished the integration of gravity forms and clickup using pabli connect not just these two software applications but you can integrate any software application using pabli connect if you have any query you can contact us at admin@pabli.com and you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com thank you